What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video here today on the channel. Today, we're taking a little bit of a break from the 2016 Infinite Warfare hype here and a lot of the subsidiary stuff that follows with that. We're going to be talking Black Ops 3 here because as of recently, there has been a lot of changes, not really since DLC 2 dropped and after that period of time, but right around then, we did get a massive patch to the game that not only included the DLC, but also a lot of weapon balancing stuff within that. So there was a ton of weapons that were touched, a lot of glitches that were fixed, but a lot of this now comes down to which guns are now the best. A lot of people are saying the Vesper, a lot of people are saying the Man of War, a lot of people are saying the ICR, everything in between. There's a lot of preference that goes into it, but personally, I've played a lot of Black Ops 3 recently. I like all of those weapons, but I think there's one that stands out in particular that I don't think anybody's really touched on. That is the Shiva. So when you wanna take a look at the raw data here and what was changed, the Vesper had four things changed to it here in the most recent patch as of about two weeks ago now at this point. But the Vesper had four things done to it, four major things, but really all it did was bring it back up to speed with where it was before it got nerfed but slightly a little bit more balanced. So it's kind of still right there on the edge. It's slightly OP if you want to put it that way, but it's a manageable OP. Now the Shiva here in terms of the quantity of changes here got only one less than the Vesper. So with that being said, what were the things that were changed? Well, the Shiva has an increased ADS speed, rapid fire now functions properly, but the biggest thing here out of this is an increased flinch stability. So whenever you add that in on top of an ADS speed, you can get your gun up and then you don't flinch as much whenever you take shots. This thing was already a melt machine previously, but whenever you add this in, I think it's tremendously OP because a lot of the times in gunfights, the only thing that would hinder you is the flinch because you would take a shot as you're being shot and it would then skyrocket the bullet over top of the player's shoulder, over top of their head, wherever you were aiming, or in some rare instances, it would actually help you where the view kick would kick it up to their head if you were aiming low enough, but that usually didn't happen. This would be something that would hinder the player rather than help it. So the flinch reduction taking less, it's actually quite noticeable. I'd take a guess probably about 50% of a reduction. 50 to 25 in that range, but it's definitely noticeable whenever you go up to take a shot that it does help you out a lot more. So adding that with quick draw, this thing on its base weapon is pretty incredible. But then when you add things in like the high caliber attachment, which makes the headshots better, it makes the headshots on the Shiva a one shot. So it's a one tap to the head. It makes those headshot challenges go by real quickly, but it's also a very lethal attachment here. So you add that in and then add the ability to bring your gun up and while in a gunfight, not take as much flinch to throw your aim off at all. That's just ridiculous. This thing is incredible, and I highly suggest that you give it a try now with this most recent patch. Again, there are some other weapons that may be a better personal preference for you guys, but if you guys do like a high caliber weapon, you guys like something that can get it done quickly, you need to be a little bit more precise with it, but if you can handle that, then this is definitely the one for you. And after this patch, I would definitely 100% say go for it, give it a try. And that's where we're gonna wrap this one up here today, ladies and gentlemen. I wanna let you guys know about this just real quickly here, taking a little bit of a break from the hype train that is Call of Duty 2016, COD 4 Remastered, and Infinite Warfare. But this one, definitely give it a try if you have not. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you think it is a incredible weapon right now? Maybe even the next God Gun? Or do you think there's something else that outclasses it? I would love to hear your thoughts. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, be sure to like writing down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 30,000 subscribers. So every little bit does help. And it's, as always, greatly appreciated. So thank you guys. My name is Nicole Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.